welcome back to another video. This week I'm going to take you along for a day in the life. This is actually future me, so hello. Um, but when I kicked off that video it was 3am in the morning and believe it or not, I'm not super jolly at 3 in the morning. My introduction will probably be something in line, so hi, welcome to this week's video, which, you know, isn't very entertaining but yeah so I'm coming at you with an intro now and let's get cracking and get on back into the video come and spend the day with us everything is all right Good morning. First thing I'll do in the morning is head into the bathroom, pop my hair up into a messy top knot, and then I'll wash my face. As I'm about to spend the best part of the day on an air-conditioned aircraft, which is very drying, I make sure I apply loads of moisturiser. I do it before my shower and after. Brush my teeth before my shower with... City lights are shining so bright. Once I'm out of the shower, it's time to do hair and makeup. I do my makeup first. I do wear a fair bit of makeup at work. You know, there's certain things we actually have to wear, so I make sure that I apply all of those. Obviously, grooming is a massive part of our uniform standards, so got to keep those up. I'm not super adventurous when it comes to hair. There are about three styles that I do for work, and today we're opting for a low bun with a bit of teasing on top just to make it look nice and full I like the kind of big voluminous look it's roughly a 90 minute drive from my house to the airport so I'll always grab a quick coffee for the journey. shoes on and it's time to hit the road. What I listen to on my drive up depends what sort of mood I'm in. Today it was quite chilled as it was an early start so I listened to one of Dr Alex's podcasts. I'm really enjoying those at the moment. I'm especially loving the insight into kind of working in a hospital during a pandemic. It's fascinating some of the stories. This is ghoulish lighting. Um, apologies, I have just popped on very quickly because I've not said good morning yet. Um, I've finally woken up. 3am starts are not the one, I've not missed that. In fact, I don't know if I've ever even done a 3am start. We don't do these European short haul flights. Um, so <laughs> this is all new to me. But yeah, I just arrived at work. Just gonna go and have my COVID test and then get the day going, I guess. The first thing I do when I arrive at work is make my way from the car park to our crew check-in area. Ever wondered what an airport looks like during a pandemic? It's very quiet. Terminal 3 is actually closed at the moment, but this is where we check in. Arrive at check-in and then we head off for our COVID test. We are tested before every single flight. Today I'm operating the London to Milan cargo flight. So it's just me and the two pilots. So our duties are a little bit different to normal. Obviously we've got no customers to serve. We literally just have cargo in the plane's hold. So it's a pretty chilled out day at work. The flight time to Milan today was one hour and 40 minutes. In those one hour and 40 minutes, we've got 
a variety of different tasks to complete whilst obviously ensuring that the pilots are well looked after. Cargo flights are obviously completely different to those flights where we carry customers. Customer flights are go, 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 literally from the minute we are allowed out of our jump seats until we sit back down again. You just don't stop. We do get a break, <laughs> but yeah, they are pretty full on. Cargo flights are definitely a bit more of a slower place. When we arrived in Milan, I actually had some breakfast, a porridge pot, very nutritious, not, but yeah, filled me up and then it's time to turn around and head straight back home again. I made it back to my car in just the nick of time. I am still at work. I got changed at the airport. Excuse the uh, the post bun hair, but we are all done for the day. So today I went to Milan and back, which is a new one because we typically just do long haul flights. So we always stay um, down route when we get to the destination. But yeah, so we did a uh, two hour turnaround, I think it was, and then we flew straight home no passengers it was a cargo only flight so that's something that came in with the pandemic um we started doing those i do quite like a cargo flight um it kind of mixes it up doesn't it um i did a run of them back a few months ago and it does get a bit like ah i'm ready to see a person but yeah every now and then it's kind of a a, a nice welcome break i guess because it's literally just you and then the two pilots but anyway we are going to head straight to the pony now because what time is it it is 25 past two um so we should be at the horses for maybe like four o'clock ish maybe a bit later if i stop for some lunch i'm absolutely starving maybe a shot of coffee as well it has been a long day it's been an easy day obviously because there's been no customers and generally that's what we do as crew we serve the customers um, obviously the pilots, they're there to fly the aircraft, but us as crew in this instance, we are there, you know, for the what ifs, the scenarios that you hope never happen. Um, yeah, that's kind of why we are there. Um, obviously we feed and water the pilots as well, but yeah, so it has been a very easy day at the office, but it's been a long day at the office. 3am starts are killers and it has been an eight hour day. So yeah, I could definitely do with a shot or two of coffee. I decided to be good and not go to McDonald's. So instead, well, good, <laughs> it's not healthy. I've got a cheese, cheese toasty and a Starbucks. My go-to Starbucks is a coconut flat white. Really good if you've never tried. Oh, that is so good. It's the coconut milk, it just makes it. I'm not massively into dairy free alternatives when it comes to milk. I don't actually like milk, um, but coconut milk is the one. It's also very good on granola. Homemade granola as well. I've made, well, I've only made it once, but <laughs> one time I did make it, it was amazing. Um, maybe I need to make some more. <laughs> I'll be grooving my way down the A3 now. I'm suitably fueled up. I've had my snacks and I'm gonna listen to the tunes. Blustery day, there's rugs everywhere. All over here, there's buckets over there as well. Gosh, um, it's just so windy here at the moment. The sun's shining though, so can't moan too much. Um, and I'm hoping to get ridden 
before the rain comes, the showers are supposed to be coming. Um, so it'd be nice if we can get that done. Before the rain comes, will we be so lucky? Probably not. Um, right, let's just turn those to their rightful stowage. Oh, hello. Come over. What's going on with your rug? I must say, so it's been, what, two days since the physio was here, and oh my goodness, the difference in him already. He is turning so much better. He's standing, like, a lot more upright, so he's obviously willing to take the weight on his feet. And he just feels so much better on himself. He is, well, I know I shouldn't be willing him to be a little bit naughty, but yesterday he dragged me out of the stable. <laughs> so he's clearly feeling a lot better. Um, so we're gonna keep an eye on him this week and maybe we might get Callie back out to do another treatment on him because it seemed to have had a quite a good effect on him. So fingers crossed, it's positive signs and maybe we're on our way out of it. That'd be really lovely. I'm off, there's a jump. I can't hear her. Yeah, we go faster then. <laughs> go faster, Paul. I'll slip into your dreams tonight. Oh, so give me, so give me your all. I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars. Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind. Just watch me break in your sweet. You're falling into me, touch me. She's really grunty today. Look at her, she's like, I'm going. I wanna make a sweat on me. I got you wrapped around my finger. But don't you try to call me tomorrow. There's nothing personal in having a little fun. You wait and see if it's worth your while. So give me some, give me your all. I'll take it, I'll take it tomorrow. They push. Good girl. Good Hello. Girl. So that I worked really hard today. Did you go belly? Good girl. Good girl. Is that hard? Hurt in here. Oh. In here and body. Because we got Friday. It's a nice sunset. Let's see how much rain we've had overnight though. Hello, Poppet. You enjoy your hay. And sleep well. Ram Ram, be a good boy. Back on the road and heading for home via the shops though. I wanna do a brunch tomorrow morning. Um, so I need to go to the supermarket and pick up some bits and then, and then finally I'll back a bit, be back at home. Um, gosh, I just passed a fish and chip shop. Fish and chips sound very appealing right now. I'll go down a treat. Yeah, I haven't even thought about dinner. But yeah, long day, but we're getting to the end of it. When I get home though, ugh, I've, um, I've got exams coming up at work. So every year we have to do um, exams to kind of just refresh our knowledge, stay in check, they call it. Um, so I do need to do an hour or so, a um, bit of revision for that because they are coming up on Tuesday. I could do without that, but if I do some tonight, then I have less to do tomorrow and that means I can ride instead. Um, so I'll do an hour or so and then I think it might be gin time. Tell me you're an equestrian without telling me you're an equestrian.
we done, chili bean? I think we are. <laughs> My little chili bean. Are we done? <laughs> there he is. Mm. Oh, I don't think much is going in now. <laughs> oh, I used to have this thing when I was at university. I thought that if you revised just before you went to bed, it would go into your brain. Does that work? I don't know. <laughs> I'm literally delirious now. <laughs> I feel like I've been up for days. <sighs> Right, gin and bath time, I think. <laughs> I am a massive bath fan. I love having a bath at the end of the day as opposed to a shower. I light some candles, make it all cosy, put loads and loads of bubbles in. Tonight is fake tan night, so I've got my body scrub and my exfoliating gloves. I've got my gin and I'll also bring out my iPad. Pop it there, watch some YouTube, watch some Netflix and then relax. Finally, it's time for some dinner and tonight we've just got a chuck in the oven pizza. Simple yet satisfying. I will chow down on that, chill for a bit and then hop into bed. I'll get all cosy, watch some TV or attempt to watch some TV. Um, but we didn't really achieve that today as I was super tired. Literally lasted all of 10 minutes before turning out the lights and falling asleep. And that concludes a day in my life. I really hope you enjoyed and we will see you very soon for our next video. Bye.